All righty, let's get into it. So much of my construction progress um, and updates over the last, how long has it been? Six, eight months covering this project has been mostly land prep. In fact, 99.99999% of it has been land prep all the way down to prepping where they're going to put footings, which is quite bizarre, I must say. Now, Amusement Insiders, myself, is ready to announce that this Monday approaching should be the start of our 2025 project. So with that being said, Canada's Wonderland should be starting actual construction on project 2025 starting this Monday. So if that's correct, which I have high hopes it is, uh, we will start seeing some pretty rapid development with this project. Now, I do predict it'll start mostly in the mountain as there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done to drill into that slab of concrete. So if you've been watching my construction updates still, you've noticed that they, they whoa, that they've been doing a lot of removing the concrete slab in tunnel one. There's been some concrete slab removal in the mountain as well. I've seen them removing that from inside tunnel three area. Um, so I am predicting based off of what we're seeing now, please take this with a huge grain of salt that the station might be located in the mountain. Now it is still up in the air where this station location is going to be because again, they even have a lot of electrical work going on over here in Thunder Run's old location. Now, with all that said, you guys have seen all the land prep. You guys have seen these teasers on the fences already. And you guys have not yet quite seen, but there's been a new construction prog uh, uh, project on what looks like some theming that's either going to be used for teasers or Moosehorn Falls. Um, maybe very, very low likelihood the uh, Griffin's Crown but I'm predicting could be used for the teasers and actual theming for the ride being built right now that I'm not quite ready to show on the channel because I'm just trying to figure out what they are entirely, but you will see them in tonight's construction update. So with that being said, Wonderland might be getting ready to enhance its teasing campaign on the ride as well. So I want to know, what do you guys think this coaster model is going to be? Do you think it's going to be Mock? Do you think it's going to be Vacoma, Intamin, B&M? Gert Slauer, what do you think it's going to be? Comment down below what you think it's going to be, and I'm going to respond to every single comment this time. All right, let's get into it. So I just said that they'll start construction on Monday, and this is going to be a extremely large project. I am hearing this could be Canada's Wonderland's largest investment in history, down to theming, down to the size of the coaster, down to the footprint. Um, so this is going to be really exciting. It's going to be really awesome to document. And you guys know that I'll be there every step of the way. Now, does that mean track's going to arrive anytime soon? No. My official prediction for track arrival is going to be sometime in June, maybe late May, early June, mid June. That's when we'll start seeing track. But I will tell you, the minute we see a footing outside the mound, Every single enthusiast will be able to predict what coaster model and manufacturer this is going to be. The minute we see threaded rod, the minute most of us, every single one of us in this community will be able to predict what this coaster is going to be. So I have already given you guys my official prediction. I'm sticking by Intamin, um, but I will tell you, I might have an update for you guys starting this week coming. So Stay tuned. Will I be wrong? Will I be right? Comment down below. I want to hear you guys. What do you guys think it's going to be? Do you agree? Do you disagree? But yeah. So with that all said, I'm excited. Get ready. Buckle up because we're about to cover the biggest project in Canada's Wonderland's history. And it's going to be really exciting. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye.